Hi guys, welcome back to AJ's Paintings. Um, today I'm going to do another Dutch pour. Um, today I'm in a mood to just pick all the colors that I like and then just go from there. Um, so I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas here and I already covered it with white flow acrylic uh, that was mixed with flow troll and water. Um, so I am just going to show you the colors that I'm going to use and I just realized one of my squeeze bottle doesn't have the cap on it. Ooh, I hope it's okay. It's not dried inside. Uh, okay, huh. so this is what happens when you have these, these squeeze bottles with these tiny caps like these red ones. Um, they're so easy to lose. Anyways. <laughs> Let's not get off topic. Uh, okay, so here are the colors I'm gonna use. This is light blue, uh, permanent by Liquitex Basics. And then I have ice blue by Deco Art. Aqua by Artist Loft. Violet by Arteza. We're all over the place today, aren't we? Uh, Deep Magenta by Artist Loft. And Halo Green by Arteza. Okay, so I am just going, I'm just going to shake these because I haven't used them in quite a while. Um, so I'm just shaking to make sure that all the paints are mixed in, mixed in. And oh, and also I think I'm going to use a gold, my favorite, Old Gold by Artist Loft. I have to have gold. <laughs> All silver. Silver, I, I put it in sometimes, but mostly I love using gold. It's my go to. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with Ice Blue by Deco Art. And I'm just going to go like a, you know, um, a weird pattern. It doesn't have to be um, specific. Um, and I'm just gonna blow it. Um, I had made a smaller canvas before uh, where I started in here and then kind of like went up there and I really like how that turned out. So let's just kind of do that. This is a bigger canvas. Um, so I'm hoping it will turn out as pretty as that one did. So it doesn't really have to be, you know, anything specific, just any pattern. And now I'm worried about my paint because I don't have that cap on it. Oh, okay. Ice blue. Not ice blue. Light blue. We already did ice blue. And instead of going on top, I'm just going a little bit on the side. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really make any difference, but why not? Okay, let's go to aqua. So I was looking at my paintings, um, which I have a lot by now, <laughs> um, and I was noticing my go-to colors, like most of my paintings are either like some shade of blue or green, or uh, some of them are like, would have some red or pink or purple, but it's mostly these blues and greens or aqua or, um, what is the other one? What is that color? It's stuck in my head now. Which one is it? Turquoise, yes. <laughs> um, and turquoise, those are the colors. I feel like I always go toward those colors. And now I'm thinking maybe I should start, you know, changing. So what do you um, recommend? Let me know if you have any specific um, color combination that's other than these color that I'm so used to so I can try those and see what happens oh so I'm I completely ran out of this so I'm just <laughs> getting as much as I can I love this this deep purple and I don't have any more mixed in so let's get as much as we can okay Uh, I think I'm gonna do, do the Thalo green first and then I'll go with the 
magenta okay and deep magenta let's just kind of go around I don't want this color to kind of dominate a little bit more than the blue all right it's a beautiful snake okay so let's pop all those bubbles so when I did my white before I started filming I popped all the bubbles on the white first just making sure there are no more there were always some pop up just gonna go over it one more time because it had lots of bubbles in it took me some time to go over it all right okay so let's do this so I have my hair dryer and I am going to use it on the high speed because on low speed the paint hardly moves for some reason um, so I'm thinking I'm just going to start where should I start I'm thinking okay I'll start here love love all these colors so pretty I do want this part to go kind of more out so I'm just gonna blow it with a straw just a little bit so it kind of looks like a petal I don't mind it going over And same thing in here. It's so pretty. I was thinking if I want to touch that or not. And I'm going to do a little bit in there. Okay. I love how all these different colors are showing up and I and a little bit of these cells are developing in there with that gold. Beautiful. Oh, I love this part in here. I hope it stays and doesn't just go over because it could go over. Um but I like it. Um, these white cells though, I am sure they're gonna get bigger because this is that white flow acrylic from Artist Loft that just makes those white cells. Let's hope they don't get too extreme. Um, if they do, then I might have to go over that, but this part, oh my God, I love this part, like all this here. So bright and so beautiful. Love it. I hope it stays like that I am going to um, cover it with resin if it dries like this like how it looks like like right now it looks beautiful and I have started doing resin and absolutely love it <laughs> I just you know with resin too right once you start and if you like it you just can't stop it's just crazy um, so I might do that once it's dry and I'll share it on my Instagram um, if you follow me on Instagram um, please do if you don't <laughs> um, I try to share my paintings as much as, as I can and I am right now I am focusing a lot more on my jewelry too I'm creating um, beautiful 
like earrings and pendants with uh, with resin um, and I'm loving that so I I'm sharing that as much as my paintings um, it's fun oh and um, I'm thinking about doing um, a live session very soon uh, where I will show you how I do that jewelry let me know if you would like to see that um, and join me uh, it will be fun it will be really fun um, okay so um, I I think it's it's developed pretty well I really really like how it turned out um, I'm gonna show you a close-up of it of course as like I always do <laughs> in all my videos um, I hope you like it please do leave me a comment if you do and like share subscribe if you haven't already I uh, Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you will come back <laughs> and uh, leave me a comment. I will see you in my next video. Bye.